and let us see how we can solve this particular problem. Now the problem is it is a to the power m b to the power n such that m not equal to n and m and n greater than 0. Now m not equal to n means either it can be m less than n or m greater than n. If m less than n that means number of a's are less than number of b's in the string. If m greater than n means number of a's are greater than number of b's. Now let us see how we can put the PDA design for this particular problem statement. Now <coughs> let us start with the start state that is Q0. Now see we can observe as compared to the previous video there was no pattern at all but here there is a pattern given that means A should occur first then any number of B's can occur. Now <coughs> as a beginning we can go in this way that is if PDA comes across character A let it push it onto stack. Okay. Suppose if it comes across B, B then let it pop the A that is present on the top of the stack and no push operations. And next it can continue popping A's if at all A's are there onto the stack and it can proceed further by making a transition from Q0 to Q1 based on the previous input. Now after this suppose if there are A's, more number of A's. So we are dealing with the first condition that is M greater than N. If there are more number of A's, okay, then let it simply pop A. And this time, this time the PDA moves to the final state. That is with respect to the first condition. Now, <coughs> Let us take one string into consideration that is A A A B B for example. Now this is all about M greater than N which is nothing but M not equal to N. First A is encountered by the PDA, it will push it onto the stack, onto the stack. Next A once again is encountered, it will be pushed onto the stack. Next A once again it will be pushed onto the stack. Now B is encountered. Okay. As per the rule, when B is encountered, A is popped. So first A goes. Next B is encountered. So second A is also popped from the stack. Now the PDA comes across epsilon. Now when it comes across epsilon, this particular rule is fired. And whatever, if at all there is A in the stack, it is popped. And it reaches final state. Now the PDA is in final state, that means the given string is accepted by the design PDA. So this is one part of the problem solution. We have another part to address that is what if number of A's are less than number of B's. Okay. Once again, once again, we will have the same rule. Okay. A, if A is encountered, A is pushed. B is encountered, A is popped. Now in this regard, what happens is, if there are more number of B's, now say if this string is given as input to the PDA, if there are more number of B's, when A's are all popped from the stack, we are going to simply consume B. That means PDA takes another diversion, okay, wherein it says if there are more number of B's, we simply consume and move to the final state. And in this final state, it goes for looking for more number of these. So, same design will give or will address for two different situations, wherein in the first situation, m greater than n, in the second situation, m lesser than n, which is nothing but m not equal to n. So, for this PDA also, you are supposed to write delta transition descriptions which I have already given in the previous video the same pattern. So I hope you understood the solution that we have designed here. Thank you.